Okay, let's see what the audience vote says. Here's here's the percentage. What happened? Wow. Well, look like Cheeto just lost a job. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm I'm kidding. No, no, Cheeto, you you still be around. All right, Sisters fans. Now, if you watch the after show program, then you know there was a moment where Tyler Perry addressed the fact that, hey, we're going to have a poll amongst the audience members. And the question is, if you were in Andy's shoes, what would you do? Would you A, work things out with Gary or B, start fresh with Robin? And the audience took a vote, and for the life of me, look, uh, it was 75% Robin and 25% for Gary. I'm going to be completely honest here. I think the percentages were incorrect. Don't get me wrong. I think Robin still won the poll, but I honestly could not tell you why anybody would vote for Gary. I like the... For the 25, uh, the alleged 25% of the audience who voted for Gary, I want to know what your thought process was. Like, why in the world would you even vote for him? And he he kind of joked around by saying, looks like Cheeto's out of a job. And then the cast like, no, we love Cheeto. And he's like, oh, don't worry. He's still going to be around. And I'm just remembering what I said in my review about the fact that I don't like that idea. Now, don't get me wrong. We haven't yet learned whether or not Sisters is going to be renewed for a season four. Even though the ratings haven't been as high as they were in season two, I don't really doubt that the show will get renewed for a season four. But at that point, what the heck is the reason to have Gary around? Now, to be completely honest, you know, just looking at the cast um, event, listening to the audition stories and whatnot and just past specials you know like when Tyler Perry would come on on stage after plays or you know do interviews and he would talk about how he constantly works with people he likes working with and that's n nothing to criticize I think that's a great idea but for the sake of storytelling in certain shows there's really not a reason to keep certain characters around anymore like don't get me wrong like he said in the special you know people um, or buying houses and cars and whatnot, and that's great because the show's doing well. But it, it, and let me say, if I was like for for Wyatt in the haves and have nots, and his character was just oh gosh, um, if I were Wyatt and I was making decent money on the haves and the have nots, and even if my character sucked, I wouldn't want to leave the show because I got bills and whatnot. But at the same time, I'm really talking about the writing for the character now. If you want to keep somebody on the show, that's all well and good. You're the producer, writer, director, and whatnot, and you're doing the cast member a solid by giving them this opportunity to work. However, I think that if you're unable to really write that character to do them justice, I mean, hell, I mean, if you're still sending them a paycheck, by all means, but I'm talking about keeping Gary around. Who really wants to see Gary anymore? I mean, at this point, he's a creep, he's a manipulator. And I don't see the need for him to be on the show anymore. I mean, the whole stunt with the therapist, it's just like... <sighs> Maybe he'll leave by the end of the season. Because when Tyler said he'll still be around, that could be in reference to the back half of season three. I mean, even in the mid-season finale, Andy said she was going to go back to work thing, well, talk things out with Gary, but she decided to hook up with Robin instead. Then in the preview for the next episode, um, do you want me to go back to the old Gary? Do you want me to go back to the way I was? And Andy's like, well, did the old Gary ever leave? So I feel like there might be that moment where Andy finally says, you know what? I can't take this anymore. I got to go. And then you could have Gary being like a Justin always popping up and all. But I feel like that would just be at the detriment of the little bit of character some people feel Gary still has left. Because if you keep him around and then Andy still stays with him, you it, it it's a detriment to Gary's character as well as Andy's. Because let's be real, Zatima is the fan favorite. He could easily rename the show Fatima and Zach and people would tune in. Because of the fact that we get so little of them compared to the other sisters who have, well, dull storylines. But that'll be its own video and um, a separate entry. 
I think that the best thing to do is let Gary go and put Cheeto in another project because like I said if Tyler Perry really enjoys working with him and he has another role it's just like Robin uh I think it's pretty damn clever because sometimes I don't even see it coming myself but it's a pretty known fact that sometimes if Tyler Perry uses an actor for one specific role he might turn around and say you know what I got something else for you I mean hell remember Andy was originally supposed to be Lily in the Oval, but then Tyler took her to the side as like, you know what, I think you'll be better suited for this show, aka Sisters. So I'm thinking that with Robin, I didn't even know this, he's actually going to be in the movie uh, a, the ja a Jazz Man's Blues, which is the Netflix film Tyler Perry has coming out, I think, next year. And obviously now he's working on Sisters. Why not put Cheeto, aka Gary, in another project? That's what I think. I mean... He doesn't, I'm not saying he needs his own show, but I mean, if Tyler Perry writes a great show around the actor, then hell yeah. But I just don't see the need of having his character on there for this long. Same thing with Calvin. I, for the life of me, the worst part about having a character overstay their welcome on the show, aside from that character getting shitty writing where their character just is so redundant and makes no sense that you make other characters around them suffer. Kind of like Iris and Barry on The Flash, where every relationship has to pale in comparison. Anytime, you know, Barry has... I mean, if I used to watch The Flash all the time, and like almost damn near every female Barry interacted with, even if it was just a friendly uh, encounter, there was far more chemistry between Grant and that actress than there was between Grant and Candace as Barry and Iris. And it's like, oh no, anytime the fans uh seen the point at this shipping, we gotta squash that and focus on the West Allen relationship. And I feel the same way about Jacoby. It's like you literally assassinated his character to make Calvin seem more appealing. I have no earthly idea why. And of course I want to touch upon this more in my video where I'm gonna do like a deep dive into Tyler Perry and his history history with the writer's room why he's been reluctant to have one since the days of TBS where he did House of Pain and Meet the Browns and then of course when he went to OWN that was a major reason for the rift between his friendship and Oprah dwindling. It's not to say these two aren't friends but they had a falling out and then of course now he does have some shows where he has implemented writers rooms as well as future projects that will have writers rooms but like I said that's his own discussion video trust and believe still working on the notes for that but in this particular case man it just seems like and I know honestly there's been a lot of people who agree with me season three has been the worst season of the show so far mainly because it's gotten really stale how many times are we gonna watch Andy do the same thing over with Gary. Get into an argument, go to one of her friends and basically try to talk things out. But in reality, she just wants to start a fight and then use that in order to justify her going back to Gary. It's like, well, see, I tried to go somebody close to me and then we got into a fight. So I'm going back to Gary. She literally tried the same thing in the finale. But basically, it's gotten old. And if not for the... <laughs> If not for Zatima being as popular as that pairing is, I don't think that many people would stay invested within Sisters, to be completely honest with you. Out of all the... I use the term couples loosely because really no one in this show is in an official relationship. Yes, Gary, well, technically she took the ring off, so the engagement is no longer a thing unless they talk things out there's really not a high interest in the sisters story like there used to be and when i say the sisters story i'm referring to the main four women yes for Timus, in the opening credit she was on stage at the event i technically do not consider her a full-fledged sister yet that won't happen until she actually is with the group but to be honest is there really a point i did a video on that several weeks ago talking about is Fatima better off without being one of these sisters not even the full group of women 
hang out all that often and when they do it's usually just to catch up on the gossip in each other's lives and whatnot and usually there are more surprises causing rifts between them and yeah typically it's either when it's crisis mode somebody really needs their help or it's two of the girls trying to get two of the other girls to stop fighting and then that just leads to even more fighting and division amongst the uh, ranks so to speak so really I just feel like there needs to be something to spice it up Robin seems like a great character, but we really don't need Gary around anymore. Think about the haves and the have-nots. You had enemies like, you know, Jim, Warlock, Quincy. When when it was time for one villain's uh, reign to end, they got killed off. And that's not necessarily the likes of Justin and Veronica. You know, that happened way too late in the game. But I'm talking about the early seasons where the story was actually going somewhere. Escalation, changes. I feel like Sisters is going to grow stale if you keep characters around for far longer than they're necessary to the plot. It's going to lose interest. Nobody really cares about Andy and Gary anymore. Nobody cares about Sabrina and Calvin. People are semi-invested in Danny and Preston only to the extent of when is Danny going to open her eyes and realize she has a good man right there. And, of course, Zach and Fatima are the only couple that, in my opinion, are keeping the show afloat. So, I hope Tyler Perry doesn't decide to keep Gary around for too long. But, to be honest, based off what he did with Calvin just kind of forcing him and Sabrina back together again, I wouldn't doubt if Gary stuck around for like two or three more seasons, depending on how long the show goes on. But, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think Tyler was really talking about the short term of, yeah, you know, Cheeto's still going to be around in regards to season three. Or do you think Gary's going to be brought back for the next season and the next season? Thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll talk to you soon.